Hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to show you another demo of uh, e-healthcare pharmacy management system you can say online medical shop so this is a uh, healthcare category project and it's using a spring embassy uh, a spring uh, boot to manage the back end and uh, JSP servlet JPA for the front end and both step and CSS is also there also you can see it's using complete embassy architecture and um, maven tool to manage the dependency and this is your root and runner file <coughs> application is deployed over the tomkit server and we can run it as a spring boot app in the back end we have a mysql database that contain this many tables and it will store our data and manage the transaction so to run the application if you buy this project from the code one they will give you complete setup for the configuration and you will get the project in this condition and after that what you have to do you have to just follow the instruction here to operate the application and to run the application how can you run it at your machine and how can you operate it further so i'm going to show you demo the complete demo <clears throat> so just open this in a slicer file uh, right click on that go to run as run it as a java application Click here as a Java application automatically Spring Boot will start the Tomcat server and will run on a specific port number. So moving on, you can see the Tomcat is started on the port number 8080 and the context path is eHealth. Now we have to create a URL and go to the browser, open a browser and click here the link localhost 8080 is my port number and the context path. The application will automatically launch over the browser and you can see the heading here e-healthcare um, medicine shop so how the shop is working here how the things are working here i will walk through and do and demo so these are three dummy page like home page about slider and uh, about us some dummy content is there contact us some dummy content is there next thing we have a sign in option and sign up option all the picture will start after the sign in okay so if i'm a new customer and i want to buy some medicine so i have to do the registration first so i can fill up this form and i can do the new registration so for a demo purpose i'm going to enter some dummy data and let's validate this <clears throat> so i just enter a email id as a login that's it and i enter just some password and this is my email id valid 10 digit phone number mail and address system when you click the save user saved successfully and now if i check the user table i can see here newly added data it's available in my user table <clears throat> now i move to the login page and first we will log in as an admin and see what admin can do there and then we'll move to the user or customer so for the admin if you view this uh, admin table here is a role name the user table will be common for all kind of user we are differentiating them by the, their role name so if it is admin it will work as an admin user and if it is user it will work as a other, other user so i'm going to enter this username for the admin and the password is password here some special character password okay i just sign in here I have first option here to view the user list so whatever the user available into the database that will be displayed here to the admin another option we have an option to search by name so i'm gonna enter the name of the user and I'm going to search it so like you can see the data is filtered here also available option is search by email so just enter this email id click search it will filter the data Another option we have an add meditation add, add, add medicine or let's suppose I'm gonna add a new medicine so new medi and enter the company name enter the price let's suppose each medicine price is 50 rupees and the expiry date so I'm gonna add some expiry date for later 2029 and the quantity let's suppose I'm gonna enter 505 is a quantity click on save you can see data is saved successfully now if i view the list i can check the new record is available here also as an admin i can do the edit operation i can do the delete operations i just select the checkbox click on delete the data will be deleted automatically 
another thing we have a order list so as an admin i can verify the order that is done by the users and i can view the complete order list here and also i have option to filter the data by order id so if i enter the order just 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 i need to enter the order id click on search i can filter out the data so here you can see all complete orders that is done by the users under the order monthly list it means i can rectify i can filter the data according to month let's suppose i as an admin i want to check the sale of current month as a june so there is no record found if i make it of the current month i suppose i want to make it august so i can see here two records are there if i'm going to make it as a july or some other month you can't see the many data because currently I'm working uh, on recently I've started the adding the data so it will display the data for the August month so according to the database record it will display the data for the month similarly we have another option to search order um, by year so let's suppose I'm going to enter 2022 in this current year we have this much record and if I change it 2021 as some previous month it will show week records not found because the data is not available for 2021 also here we have an option same option to search by order id so i can search it by order id another option for the admin we have a my profile change password and logout now i'm going to log in as a user that we have recently registered and then see what that user can do so this is my username for the user and i'm going to just enter this username and the password again the same password uh, some special character okay after login as an user what i can see i can see the medical medicine list so let's suppose i want i have another two options here search by name if i want to search any medicine by name so let's suppose i'm going to search it by this name so i can filter out the data i can search it <coughs> by the company name i can also search it and whatever the data you're seeing here it is dummy data you can update the data according to your requirement and let's suppose as a user as a user i need to add this medicine that is recently added by in the quantity of 205 so let's suppose i want to buy the five uh, tablets from this section so i just go to the add card add to card i just double click on it and then I have to enter some number let's suppose I want to five uh, like if you've seen into the medical list currently we have quantity as a 205 let's suppose out of 205 five quantity I want to update and I want to buy it so I just add in quantity into the my card section the price is updated automatically uh, as a 250 and I can click on the checkout option and here I need to fill up my remaining dates so some date uh, some data is coming from the database already and after that we need to fill up the remaining date i just go to the payment there is a two option to payment by card or by check so let's suppose i want to do by card i just enter some dummy number and click on place order you can see the order displays the total wages 250 it's done now if i go to the order list i can check the recently ordered data here and this is my order id now if i check the card it's empty but if i go add to card some option then if i move to the card i can see the data is there okay i can remove it from the card as well so this is that's it for the i mean for the user side again the common option my profile chain password is there i hit the logout again let's log in as an admin and check the recently ordered data will be should be displayed over there so you can see the data here that i have just ordered for the tablet which is this and it's showing under the order list so that's it uh, this is a complete spring boot project and the, the demonstration is done now if you need the source code you can contact us over the whatsapp over the mail that is available in the um, in the right bottom corner uh, and the, the team will be responsible to do the setup at your machine so we have a remote team that will help you to run the project and it will work same as source in the demo and hope you will like us hope you like it and uh, please contact if you need the source code. Thank you.